Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, aka DJ Bazooka, and uh, it's 2024, and it's been a while since I uploaded a video here and wanted to kind of talk to you guys about this one thing that I'm taking from 2023 that I will be taking with me in 2024, and that is using sync when I DJ. And if you don't know what sync it is, it's basically having two songs set to the same tempo so you don't have to do it manually on your decks. Now, here's a couple of different scenarios that I want you to think about of how sync will help you kind of save your butt if these things were to happen. And as a DJ, I know um, that a lot of things can go wrong within a set and you're constantly always on your toes and you always have to troubleshoot. So let me kind of paint the picture for you and see if it makes sense for you. And I know there's a huge de debate within the DJ community of how you should use sync or not. In my opinion, I think use it as a tool and use it when it makes sense, but you should still be able to DJ and beat match by ear and train your ear to do that perfectly so that you're not dependent on a feature like sync or DJ software because sometimes things can go wrong and that's when your skills come into play. So the number one reason and why I would use sync is when I'm switching to another DJ, especially if I'm pay playing a back-to-back -back set. Now, a lot of times when a DJ is about to come on, something can go wrong where their laptop is not working or their side of the deck isn't working and something that you just have to troubleshoot. Well, then what I would do is switch that channel back to my side, quickly play another song, hit sync so that it's in tempo, it's in the same on the same beat and be able to give that other DJ three to five minutes to troubleshoot whatever they're doing so that they can switch back on the other channel to transition over. Now I found that to be very helpful and useful because it reduces a lot of the stress where I'm having to control different things. It basically makes it really easy for me to just transition to one more song to give them some time to do whatever they need to do. And the next reason is basically kind of the same thing. Sometimes when I'm playing by myself, there are things that happen that I can't really control, like phase not connecting. So then I'm forced to play on one deck or maybe go on internal mode for the rest of my set. And being able to adapt in these situations is key. So a lot of times when you're playing on internal mode, you're having to basically adjust everything on screen or some of the hot keys on your keyboard if you're using a laptop. But using sync in that situation can really help you out because that's one less thing that you kind of have to fidget with and you can just focus on song selection and making sure that you're playing to the crowd. So my idea of using sync is not necessary to be lazy, but it's more so a tool to kind of troubleshoot your way through Serato and I guess any other software that you're using because a lot of times things go wrong and the last thing that you would want to happen is for music to cut out because you didn't do things on time or maybe you're mixing between a song and things clash because it's not on beat. Um, so hopefully that helps and that maybe changes your perspective on using sync and if you're a new DJ I recommend using sync for those type of situations um, because things are going to come up and you're going to have to learn how to troubleshoot them on the spot. That's just part of the job, part of being professional. And, um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think about using sync. I know it's a long debate online of other people talking about why you should and shouldn't use it. But in my opinion, if you're using it as a tool like that, um, there's no reason why, you know, you shouldn't use it.